What's up, y'all? Welcome to Briar's National Fun Day. A full day of crafting taking place on Briar's social media channels. I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff, and you know I love to craft. And crafting with Briar is all about fun and creativity. So let's get to it and paint the horse of our dreams. Let's open our kit and take out the horse, the paintbrush, and the paint. I have white, black, and brown paint. The paintbrush has a pretty nice point that will totally come in handy when painting those details. And I am loving this model. Let's paint a gray horse today. I mix white and black paint to make gray. Stir it well. Let's add just a little more white to get the gray we want. I try to mix all the color that I'm going to need at one time so we don't have to try and match it later. That can get kind of tricky. Now we can add a little bit of that gray to the muzzle. I like to start with really thin light layers and then just build up. So let's paint a nice thin coat around the muzzle and we want it to kind of fade just a little by mixing our gray with a little more white paint. And we're just going to use it to fade those colors. And I'm gonna continue with this color all over the rest of the body. I really like this really light gray. I'm just keeping it nice and thin and covering all the little nooks and crannies. Let's add some of that darker gray around the eyes. I just want it to fade, so I start with the darker color, then I go back with the lighter color. Giving our horse that nice smoky eye. Next, I take a little dark gray paint on my paintbrush, and I'm gonna remove some of the excess. I want it to be kind of dry. Then let's build that color up on the neck. While the paint is still wet, I mix in that lighter gray because I want this to be kind of subtle. While smoothing out the colors, I use my brush to just tap it and that creates a little bit of texture. Let's add that dark gray to the back legs and fade that color in. And we can make the front legs a little darker as well blending from light to dark. I'm gonna darken the inside of the ears and paint the mane and tail dark gray. But on the tail, let's just paint part of it dark gray. Then the light gray, add a little touch of the light gray to the mane as well. Then use white on the ends. All right, I am pretty happy with this base color. Now I'm going to attempt to do a little dapple effect by adding little white spots, kind of like stars. I kept them kind of close together in the large open areas. I am painting the hooves black. Very carefully paint the eyes black. Then use a tiny bit of white paint to add a dot in the horse's eye for a little shine. Completing our dapple gray horse. I love painting stable mates. It is so much fun to practice our horse painting skills. I really wanna work on improving those dapples, so I can't wait to paint the next one. Because you know what they say, practice makes better. And now, our new horse can join some of our other painted stable mates. I painted this horse to look like our horse, Johnny, and here's his best friend, Tino. Pretty nice little collection we have here. Thank you for joining us while we painted a custom stable mate for Briar's National Fun Day, and we can't wait to see you at the next video. Mm -hmm. 